everyone, I'm Clem and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag. So first of all, I'm sorry for the lighting, it's way much darker in my room than what I thought, so we're in this really nice lightning that I don't really like, but I need to film right now. So we will do with that. So this tag was created by Ariel. I don't know the name of the channel right now, but I will link everything down below so you can go check it out after you've seen my video. So yeah, let's get started. So the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? So if you've been following me over the year, you know that I had a hard time reading, especially since this summer, and so there are a lot of books that I started. I mean, not, not a lot, but some books that I started, some I DNF, and some I'm still reading, and I really need to finish before the end of the year. And the one I really like, would like to finish is the second book in the Minus Chase trilogy by Rick Riordan. So this is the Armor of Thor. Uh, I'm like... Uh, 200 pages in and I really hope I'm going to be able to finish this before the end of the year because my plan at first was to uh, finish the trilogy before 2019 but we all know it's not going to happen because like the, 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 this week and next week I have a lot of exam and I'm in the middle of Queen of Our Darkness so I really need to finish this because I'm super excited about this book and hopefully I will manage to read this at some point, but yeah, I really would like to finish this before the end of the year. The second question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? I don't have a specific book, like, to get into the autumn mood and to transition, like, to toward the end of the year, but most of the time what I do is that I read fantasy, because I really like to read fantasy in the autumn when it's cold outside or if it's not fantasy then historical fiction because I feel it's the perfect mood and the perfect weather to read historical fiction so either I'm reading fantasy either I'm reading historical fiction and that's why I had to pick um, Magnus Chase and also the same month I was supposed to read Prisoner of Night and Fog, which is an historical fiction, but I never get to read it. So, yeah, amazing. The third question is, is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? So right now, no, because uh, my most anticipated release was Queen of Iron Darkness, as I just said. Uh, and now it's out and I'm currently reading it, so no, I'm not expecting anything before the end of the year, because I don't think that books I want to read are coming out before the end of the year. I know that I have books that I really want to read that are coming out in 2019, but I will do a video about that in January, so stay tuned for that, but so far, no, nothing, I'm not waiting for anything. Question four, what are three books you want to read before the end of this year? <laughs> so I already mentioned Magnus Chase because it's one of the books I really want to read before the end of the year. The second one is Queen of Erin Darkness by Cassandra Clare that I'm currently reading. I'm 200 pages in. Uh, it's amazing and I know it's going to be painful because Sarah uh, already cried and it, she was not something like Alfred Fruit. so can't wait to die like while reading this book but I really really need to finish it before the end of the year. I can't like go in, two, in 2019 without having finishing, without having finishing this book, like without, for me this book to be over. So yeah, this is like the thing that I want to do the most this month. And the last book I really, really, really want to read before 2019 is A Conjuring of Light by V. Schwab. This is the last book in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy and it's the last one I have to read. And I really would like to go in 2019, uh, like, with me having finishing this series. I still don't know if it's English what I'm saying, but I really hope, really. But still, I hope you understand what I mean, like. But yeah, A Conjuring of Light is, re is definitely a book I need to read before 2019. Question five, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Yes, Queen of Iron Darkness. It's, never, it's not even a question, like, it's sure it's going to be my favorite book of the year and I'm sure it's going to shock me. So, yeah, Queen of Iron Darkness is going to be my top one for my favorite books of this year. I'm sure about it. 
And question six, uh, have you already started making reading plans for 2019? So I'm currently thinking about that and I know that I want to read more classics uh, because I have tons of classics here that I haven't read and I really want to read them. I also would like to finish my rereading of Harry Potter, like I'm currently at the second book, <laughs> yeah, amazing. So I have time for that. And also I would like to read as many books as possible that I own on my shelves and I haven't read yet. This is like my main quest for 2019 to, to read all the books that I have on my shelves that are on my TBR. It's really something I need to do, so I'm going to plan that. I don't know, maybe like a sort of a game or something like that. I don't really know, but once again I will make a video about that and about my reading plans for 2019 in 2019 in January so you will know everything about that. So yeah guys that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, um, tell me in the comments down below what do you plan on reading in 2019, like if you had any reading plan I would love to know and if you have ideas for me to like to attack my TBR I, will, I would love to for you to share that with me uh, and yeah I will see you next time, bye guys!